I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. The American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. I was called by a major, major reporter whose name I won't use, and he said to me, what you've done has never been done in the history of United States politics. And more and more people are resonating to what I'm saying, and that's why I'm leading in every poll. We will have so much winning if I get elected that you may get bored with winning. I think I have to win. I'm about winning. It's been amazing to follow and, and, and uh, exciting because you, you say some shocking things. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account. Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> and he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Yeah, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. Here's a guy throwing punches, nasty as hell, screaming at everything else when we're talking. And he's walking out, and we're not allowed, you know, the guards are very gentle with him. He's walking out like big high fives, smiling, laughing, like to punch him in the face. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. The former president uh, of Mexico, Vicente Fox, he said today, and I'm quoting him, he said, I'm not going to pay for that, quote, effing wall. How are you going to make them pay for the wall? I will, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. Zero tolerance for criminal aliens. Zero. Zero. Now a different threat challenges our world. Radical Islamic terrorism. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Donald Trump, let me ask you, have you even read the United States Constitution? You have sacrificed nothing and no one. I think I made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, I work very, very hard. I've created thousands and thousands of jobs, tens of thousands of jobs, uh, built great structures. I've done, I've had, I've had tremendous success. Uh, I think those I've are sacrifices. Lot. Oh, sure. I think they're sacrifices. that this is the moment and Donald Trump is the person to make America great again. I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican nominee for president, Donald J. Trump, and the Democratic nominee for president, Hillary Clinton. You're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you are. want to do. There Secretary, is it President there... Obama's fault? Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. Act... I also have a much better temperament than she has. You know? If Hillary knew how she would have done it already, period, end of story. I won the debate. I stayed calm, just like I promised. And it is over. Good night, Hofstra. <laughs>
I better use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I've said and done things I regret, and the words released today on this more than a decade-old video are one of them. This is nothing more than a distraction from the important issues we're facing today. You brag that you have sexually assaulted women. Do you understand that? No, I didn't say that at all. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. Just breaking a damning report from the New York Times that claims Donald Trump inappropriately touched two women. The first that more him. women now accuse Donald Trump of improper physical conduct. The People magazine writer who said that Donald Trump kissed her and groped her in 2005 while she was interviewing him and his then pregnant wife Melania. These vicious claims about me of inappropriate conduct with women are totally and absolutely false. I didn't know any of these women. I didn't see these women. And I didn't even apologize to my wife, who's sitting right here, because I didn't do anything. Do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. And I will totally accept the results of this great and historic presidential election if I win. And I can only say that while the campaign is over, our work on this movement is now really just beginning. We're going to get to work immediately for the American people. And we're going to be doing a job that hopefully you'll be so proud of your president. You'll be so proud. Again, it's my honor. It was an amazing evening. It's been an amazing two-year period. And I love this country. Thank you. Thank you very much.